How to remove exhaust manifolds on an E350 7.3 liter diesel IDI. Here are the exhaust manifolds. As you can tell, these are going to be on their way out. And on their way out. I've already loosened up one of these bolts. This is easily to be taken out. Same with this one. I'm sure this one as well. This is a stud one that's holding this dipstick tube. So we'll remove it from here as well. These two are going to need breaker bars. So I'm going to get me a 24 inch breaker bar. And that should do that. They're not rusted. Like, you know, some of the trucks and vans have a lot of road debris and rust scaling that has been accumulated on the bolts. This is not the case. So, just a torque bar. There's about another one down, another two down in there, which we'll get from the front. No need to really, I mean, you can get them from here. Yeah, you could. You can get them from here, or you can get them from the front. But make sure that your torque bar is a flex head and ratcheting. You don't want to be messing around. Driving yourself crazy. So once these are those bolts are removed, you're gonna need. If also, let me just suggest if you need a crow wrench that it, that attaches to you know the breaker bar, I suggest that as well, which is gonna be very helpful. A crow wrench right here attached to the breaker bar so you'll be able to break it you'll be able to turn this out or turn this this way to remove it to remove this bolt will this be able to slide out without removing this entire exhaust system there is a great chance that that can happen there is a great chance that that can happen so this one is going looks like it can be easily removed so you see this is a 916 I don't have enough strength in me to bust this without a torque without a uh, breaker bar so I get me a 24 inch breaker bar that come all the way up here then we talking they're not rusted bolts. They're nice and oily, which is pretty good because that makes for easy uh, removing. Not that you want your bolts to be oily, but you don't want them to be superly dry because they just rust. So sometimes it's helpful when there's oil on them. But it's a great thing to do preventive maintenance and come through on all these bolts that you'll be seeing and hit them with... Uh, a coating of that grease yeah I think it's um lithium grease or something like that yeah something like that I think it's lithium grease you know it doesn't wash away and stuff like that so and it provides a, a coating on it so it doesn't rust as quickly but that's what I suggest as well so you don't know, drive yourself crazy but this is an area where it's nice and warm so, these are not going to rust like that, but up there, them will rust because of the the, 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 uh, the climate and stuff like that and being next to the, to the tires. I also suggest when one purchases these exhaust manifolds that you just paint these. Go ahead and paint these. Take some whatever color your favorite paint or matchable paint of your vehicle and paint them or 
matchable to your engine and paint them. This way it saves you a headache from worrying about looking rusty. This is a minute. Mortar hits that and oxidation and stuff. That color comes. So if you're gonna paint that, you must well paint this. Yeah, if you're gonna paint this, you must well paint that. Mm -hmm. Paint this and you know, stuff. Paint this black. You know, paint this that nice and gray. It kind of matches. You know, all that type of good stuff. But that's a project. That's something that can be done as you're going along the way to knock this stuff out. So you're not taking a whole lot of time and you're getting things, multiple things done. You don't have to revisit it anymore. So that's the goal. So, back to the removal of these exhaust manifolds. Yes, so you're going to need that pro wrench and that breaker bar. And then this can, you can loosen these, go this way with it, which will drive this into the exhaust pipe. Being able to loosen that out of here. Same with this one down here. It's made for a pro wrench. Is me is me for a pro wrench. I mean, you see if I can have a trick with the video recording. But you a pro wrench go down in there. You get you a 24 wrench breaker bar. And that's how you back that bolt out of that exhaust manifold. Once you back those bolts out, you remove these bolts, which is gonna be nice and easy. This will come out in like 10 minutes this exhaust you can change this exhaust manifold in 10 minutes 10 15 minutes especially once you do it one time you do it one time then everything is going to be a lot more simpler the next time but you know it's just configuring what you need to tackle the project left side so you have all this cable wire and all this stuff. As you can see, we gotta do some cleaning over here on the head as we replace these head uh, valve cover gaskets in a previous video. We could have painted these, but I don't know, I like originality in a sense. And I don't think it would really come out as great if I just put a little sponge or a little paintbrush on that. I think they need to be sprayed with a gun opposed to the exhaust manifolds where you can use a sponge brush and put that paint on there. Same thing with the head, cylinder heads. And you go up and touch it back up. Same thing with the trans uh, the casing of the transmission. You know, you clean these things up. Let me get up in there and clean all that out. I can tell that there's some more work to be done. This has got to be replaced as well. This left head is gone. Anytime your head becomes rusty like that, you're going to replace them. No matter what. Eventually down the road or soon to be or whenever have you, they're going to be needing replacing. And I suggest you do them otherwise you have blown head. Uh, exhaust manifolds and this one's in bad shape but they're not expensive this is like $90 and other ones like $100 or $70 and other ones a hundred bucks so you spend $170 if you do it yourself you save a shit ton of money part of my language but you save a lot of money yeah, and I suggest you try to do it yourself learn something new right take the challenge it's like a light bulb. Replace it. See what you got to do with it. It can happen. But these bolts, back to how to remove this, is the same thing. Is we're going to be using a breaker bar and a crow and coming up this way and loosen it going down the other side. It's going to be very challenging, as I have no clue 
on how to honestly really get that one out. <laughs> so, it looks like, <laughs> as I'm sitting here thinking about it, it looks like we're going to remove the entire drop case down there. Or, we probably won't even we'll have to remove that uh, protective uh, casing. But, yeah, we'll go underneath using the same method curl wrench and that curl bar not the curl bar uh, yeah. that big old bar breaker bar and go from underneath at an angle so that's how that one's going to be removed they just need to be backed out also suggesting that you paracord this exhaust system or use a jack so it doesn't fall down and give us support and when you're putting the jack on it put some cushion between the jack and whatever you're doing so you don't have any uh I'm gonna say paracord no jacks weight crushes things so use some paracord and find a place to hang it in a way and support it Because paracord will support about 500 pounds. So, that's how that one's going to be removed. This bolt and the exhaust manifold is easily take, can be taken out. We tried that, tried that, got one, got all these. The same thing when I got back to there. It got a little tight, so I'm going to need, you know, I couldn't loosen them as easy. And I wasn't able to. So I'm going to need a breaker bar and, you know, it's good to have a curl, curl wrench for this one and a curl wrench for that one just, just in case. So get those curl wrenches for those two sides. And what I'm seeing is a curl wrench for this vehicle is uh, pretty good. And crow wrenches for this vehicle is really good in flexi heads ratcheting wrenches and stuff but once you remove those once you remove them you'll be able to uh, same way pull it in this way so that all, all of this is being, all of the work on this vehicle is pretty much done in the cabin. Which is pretty cool because he's out of the elements. Everything's right here, accessible to you. You ain't worry about tools everywhere. And this is probably one of the most easiest vehicles that I've seen probably put together and where everything is at. It's a little challenging with four parts and stuff like that. You know, but four, you could throw Mercedes Benz shock damper on here or something like that, you know. That's Ford. But the goal right now is we cleaned all that out. It's going to get repainted and stuff like that. But we ain't worried about the paint, painting it right now because paint takes time to dry. And we ain't got time to be waiting for no paint to be dry. And then work can be done. So, we're gonna go get some curl wrenches and a breaker bar and do these. Do these heads. We're gonna remove these heads. And I'm sure once these bolts come out, this will pop right out with a, with a curl bar. Hopefully, yeah, we won't have to remove this tube stick at all. We'll just have to just take these off. That all. And you can bend this out. So, but just be careful. Not like bending to break it, but just bend it to flex it back. You know, it's, a, it's flexible in a sense. 
So we'll do that with that. And that's how that will be removed so we're not. So that's not in the way. Hopefully this will give us enough space. We'll have enough space to clear this. I don't know, it's gonna look kinda crazy. From my looks at this. This may have to be removed. This too may have to be removed. Mm -hmm. But it, it's easy. We've done that for the for the valve covers. Yeah. So that's that. Take care, peace.